Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five super useful After Effects hack that will save you a hell lot of time. So it's going to be a super fun video and I hope you enjoy all the different hacks that I'm about to share with you. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Now before we start today's video, I just want to quickly tell you guys about my very own Gaze Graphics Pack. Link is in the description. The pack now comes with AtomX extension and over 4500 plus ready to use animations saving you a lot of time. Using the pack is super easy. Open your project composition, browse the animation that you like using the AtomX extension and just click on apply. Boom, you are good to go. You can even use the customizer inside the extension to edit your animations. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. Giz Graphics Pack comes equipped with 22 different categories which include 230 plus slideshows and typography animations, 400 plus transitions, 650 plus titles and lower thirds, 60 plus logo animations, animated devices, infographics, color filters, social media animations, shape elements, text and animation presets, sound effects and a lot more. So grab your copy today of the Gaze Graphics Pack version 5 powered by Atomex extension. So the first hack I have for you is render templates. So let's say if you render a particular kind of project every single day with similar format, you can create a render template for that. So let's say I have a simple project right here. I'll add it to render queue. So I'll go to file, export, add to render queue. I'll go right here and select all the settings that I usually do and press OK. And let's say these are the settings that I always want to render these type of animations in. So what I can do is click on the small arrow that you see right here and click on make template. You can still make any changes if you want to. For example, I can change the frame default from Photoshop to lossless. And let's name this setting. So I'll call this test for now and press OK. Every time whenever you add any animation and if you want to render that animation in this particular format that you just selected, you can now go right here and select this test format or the test render template that we just created and it will apply the same exact settings to the video that you have added to the render queue. It's super simple and super useful. The next hack I have for you is looping files. Now this hack only works with video files. It doesn't work with precoms. So here I have a simple footage of a video frame. The footage is around 4 seconds but my timeline is of 20 seconds and I want my video to be all the way up to 20 seconds. So how can I make this loopable? Now the old age method would be to duplicate it pressing Ctrl D then drag this here, press Ctrl D, drag this here. So this is quite annoying sometimes. So the easiest way to do this is find the video in the project panel. So this is the one right click and go into interpret footage main you can even change the frame rate if you want to but i'll use the frame rate for the file which by default is 30 fps and here we find the settings called loop so how many times do you want to loop it i'll say let's maybe six times and press ok and now i can just stretch this out and we have a loopable video without any edit super easy the next hack i have for you is updating markers so let's say you have created an animation and you have added your markers to just be organized and to know which animation start from which duration so if you pass this project file to a different designer or your colleague he will be easily able to make the changes according to the markers but when i go back into my main comp the markers are not there 
so usually people would do is go right here and find the marker then go back and add a new marker so it can be quite tedious so the easiest way to do it is to select it right click go into markers and update markers from source and boom there you go it's a very simple tip but many people don't know it the next hack i have for you is masking shape layers now whenever you create any shape so let's say i'll create a circular or ellipse shape all right now if i want to create a mask on the shape in order to let's say create a moon so if i select the ellipse tool again and if i try to mask it it won't work so there is a small button right here which says tools create shape so if i go right here it says tool create mask so i want my shape tool to create mask now so i'll click on this and now if i draw it boom there you go and i can invert it and there you have it and it's still a shape layer by the way so you can still make any changes that you want i can select the mask press ctrl t and adjust it the way i want and um, you know create my moon basically there you go and the final hack i have for you is a resetting any layer so let's say this is my logo i'll press s to bring down the scale properties maybe make this a bit smaller and press r to rotate it and let's also maybe i don't know move the anchor point somewhere and also you know maybe something like this and now if i want to reset it what i can do is if i want to reset the scale i'll double click on the selection tool so it will reset the scale if i want to reset the rotation i'll double click on the rotation tool and if i want to reset the position i'll double click on the pan behind tool and boom now i can align it and we are back to square one so that is a wrap guys i hope you enjoyed all the different hacks that i shared with you let me know in the comments which hack you find super useful and if you have anything new to share with me you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions links are in the description and make sure to check out my gaze graphics pack again link is in the description below it contains more than 4500 animations so it's super useful and very time saving so yeah check it out so I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.